Hello, all my little stitchy poos. This is Thris. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning stitchy. Happy to have you no matter what. Um, if you guys don't mind, put a thumbs up and leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji, it really helps the channel out. And I hope you'll subscribe if you like what you see because I have a goal of 10,000 this year. Um, and I'm going to stop telling myself that that's a silly goal. No goals are silly. So we're going to go after it. Um, you wouldn't believe it, but we have some color transfer. <gasps> Sugar! Um, I even cleaned the pans. I even rinsed out my spoon. I frankly have no idea. I give up at this point trying to figure it out. Okay, so I have an exciting colorway, but one that has to be done very, very, very meticulously. We have a photo inspiration. I've done this colorway before. Um, you guys will only have seen it if you watched Crystal over at Bag of Days video of um, the unboxing of some uh, uh, custom, oh for heaven's sake, uh, oh, hand on yarn, um, custom colorways. So this is the inspiration, but I did that hand painted. I haven't done it in a pan. Um, so let me make sure I'm getting in here. This is a Mary Maxim kit. This is the Persian tiles kit. So we've got navy blue, medium blue, light blue, orange, yellow, and red. And so these colors are a little tricky to put together. So I do a breaker of black in the middle of it. Just a small one. That way the blue and the orange don't mix. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attempt to do, that's seven colors. So wish me luck, cause I'm a little afraid. Um, I have high amounts of, almost said vitamin C, um, citric acid in here. I'm going to take even more water out. Um, and the water is hot. We are going to do this a little low immersion at first because I really want to try to keep the colors from spreading uncontrollably. This coloration is on my hink mostly, so it's okay. But it's going to be covered up with black and dark blue, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to go in with black, and I think what I'm going to do is just go in with the colors and not even kind, not even really feather them out. Um, like I don't need that much black. This is mostly just so the orange and the blue don't touch. I'm not going to really feather, I mean it's feathering on its own. I'm separating the yarn fibers so it's moving on its own. That's it. I just want... Okay. I think everybody knows what this is for. I forgot to say it. We are dyeing yarn for crystals over at Bag of Days. One million subscriber uh, celebration party. She will be hitting it very, very soon. Um, I think she's only like 700 away now. Ish. Okay, so mm. okay, on this side I am going to go in with a little bit of navy because the blues are only really two blues, so I have a little bit more room to work with. It's the other side. It's going to be the tricky side. But I have figured out what I'm going to do. Instead of trying to do yellow and orange and red, I am just going to do yellow and orange and then I'm going to, I mean yellow and red, which will make orange, and then I'm going to write in the center of them, then put the orange on. Okay. So let's 
So here's our electric glue. We had a nightmare mess with the electric glue. I knocked it over, got it everywhere. Absolute disaster. It was fun. Okay, so there's that. Then I'm going to, this I will feather. Black and navy. Okay, I should have made some baby blue eyes, but but I didn't. What are you? Are you Caribbean? Let's not even take a chance. Let's get the Caribbean I've been working with. Finish this bottle off. Oh, might help if I take the lid off. <laughs> uh. So this side's super simple. This side's a really easy side. It's the other side that's going to be fun. Okay, so I think we will do a little bit more navy. Not much. Kind of a fire and ice vibe too. There we go. Okay, so that side's done. So I'm going to hello my babies. I'm gonna do a little bit more black right here. I mean I really, really, really want that black. I am playing no games here. I do not want shades of gray. Not even gonna like really move it okay so we're gonna take this red <clears throat> and I'm going to kind of flicked that red up into where the yellow is going to be. Gosh darn it. I did not mean to do that. It was going so well. It's okay. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to take that yellow that we had for the, um, it wasn't quite full spice, fall spice. It was the one that kind of looks like fall spice, but had the purple at the ends and the brighter colors. I'm going to take that yellow and I'm going to add some fluorescent lemon to it. If you remember, it already has brilliant yellow in it and it has mustard. Um, honey mustard, but that is because I want this yellow to be pretty bright There we go Yep, 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 yep What is going on? Oh, it's leaking. Oh, that's cute Okay Just a second. Let me rinse this off guys. I need better bottles. I complain about it all the time. I have yet to find a really, really good set of bottles. Like the bottles I have found that I really that don't leak have these teeny tiny spouts to where 
it is so difficult to um, get the dry dye powder in them without making a mess everywhere. There we go. I think this time it was user error. I don't think I screwed on the lid all the way. So it's not as bright of a yellow as I would have wanted, but that's okay. Okay, and now that we have that on, comes probably the trickiest part of all. Which is gonna be this orange vein of my existence. Okay, we are going to put a line right there, and I'm blending more towards the red than I am the yellow. But this is so hot and acidic that it's it's striking pretty much instantly, which is good in the sense that it doesn't spread bad in the sense that it will require lots and lots of turning. Um, but there we go. Okay. This looks pretty red, but I when it dries, it'll be more orange. Okay. There we go. So there's that colorway. I really like this colorway. I think it's a nice one. Gizmo! What you getting into, Bubba? Gizzy! Okay, you got your bone? Okay, Bubba, you're fine. Okay, now we go for this side. Hold on just a second. I am bouncing you guys all around. Okay, uh, that cuts off the end. There we go. All right. So this side is one that I saw, okay, well first I wanted to say I saw a lot of requests for me to do what was basically fall spice. The colorway that we did yesterday with the purple and the ends was inspired by this uh, gemstone bracelet that I have here. Um, basically no purple darker and darker red. Well, that's fall spice. Well, I've done fall spice tons of times. It was a sub box colorway. I sent it to um, Crystal. Crystal ordered more of it. And so it's been done a lot. And um, so I, and we have so many, I mean, we have several brands that we already did. So I, I am not going to do that this time. Uh, forgive me. Um, I'm trying to, do some new stuff um i definitely did some oldies but goodies but this was a colorway that was requested a ton and has been requested of me basically my whole time here on youtube and that was purple and teals and though i've put purple and teals together i have been scared doing them because i'm always afraid that it's not going to mix well and make kind of an ugly color so I don't always like put them where they're touching. Um, so that is kind of what we're gonna do this time. Move some of this water. Um, and then we just have one more hank and we're done. Okay. So. I had an idea of just lightly dyeing the whole thing gray and then splattering teal and purple all over it. In my head, it sounds really pretty, but um, I haven't practiced it before and I kind of, I want to make sure that these look good. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to kind of go with the pan method I've been doing. 
Um, let me see. How am I doing this? I thought about kind of doing it like this one where I have something in the middle and then teal on one side, green on the other side, uh, uh, purple on the other side. But you guys are really wanting them to touch. Okay. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. This might look kind of cool. Oops. All right. So we're going to take royal purple. Well, that is supposed to be royal purple. Um, let's see, where did it go? Okay. This is supposed to be royal purple. Not entirely convinced that it's not just another thing of navy. Hmm. This is electric violet. Give me just a second. Okay, listen. So I'm blind, all right? I have excuses for things sometimes. <laughs> Guys, the reason why it looked blue last video is because it was blue. I have two things of navy. For heaven's sake, who trusted me to dye yarn? Why? I mean, unless I'm wrong, one does kind of look a little more purple than the other. I don't know, I could just be making that up in my own head. All right, so that explains a lot. I'm not really sure how that happened. Um, yeah, I am. I was left at the helm. Oh, careful, baby. Although, navy would look kind of cool. Hmm. Okay, what I was thinking about doing was doing navy here and blending navy into the teal and then blending the navy into the purple. Yes, I know the purple and the teal wouldn't be touching. I'm aware, but I'm scared, okay? Um, hold on. Okay, so... I doodled a little. Um, so the navy, I mean, the teals touching the purples are really pretty. I don't know why I'm always so scared of it. So the top teal is a uh, teal green. This one right here is Aquatropics. And when it hits that, that electric violet, because it has blue in it, it makes just a different kind of blue. So, hmm. I don't want to just do half and half. I feel like that's boring. Do I really want to do just half purple, half teal? I don't know if you guys would like that. Um, this is when I wish I could just call all of you up. Gosh, I'm looking at those two, and this one really does look purple around the edges while this one looks blue. I really can't tell what they are. I'm not gonna lie, I can't tell. I don't know. Navy's tricky. Um, hmm. Okay, so I could do... Well, what if I did like purple, teal, stripe, and navy? then teal, purple, stripe, and navy, and did it like that, and then the purples are touching, the navy's still in there. Because I think the navy really looks beautiful with this. Here's a chance to be a little chaotic, a little crazy, do something a little different than what I normally do. And I, I'm trying to sit here and play it safe, and I'm scared to not play it safe. I'm scared it's not going to look good. You know what, girl? Just do it. Just do it. It looks fun. Okay. Okay, I'm doing it. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do, let's see, we'll do purple, then teal, then navy. Let's, let's use both teals. If we're just going to be wacky, let's just be wacky. We're going to use the Aqua Tropics also. I love this color so much. Alright. Guys, I'm scared. I don't know why this has always been like 
This has always been a hill I've had trouble climbing. Let me move you. I know it probably sounds really silly, but isn't there that... Everybody kind of has that thing that they're afraid to, to do. And they just stay away from it. Like wearing red. I'm so afraid to wear red. Um, Alright, we're going to do this. So I'm going to take some of the water out. I'm actually going to give it to this one over here. Um, that way we, the colors don't spread too, too much. Kind of similar to this one we just did. I'm scared but excited. I think it's going to look good. It looks good on the paper towel. So that's been a really good measuring tool for me. Is the paper towel swatching stuff on there? Okay, she's nice and hot. Let's turn it up just a skosh. And let's just do it. All right, so we're going to go. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing it too. Okay, I'm going to pull the yarn, get some for the ends. And then we're just going to go. I'm going to put a decent amount here because I want that purple to be kind of dark. Um, and I'm not going to feather too much. I am going to feather though because I do want those colors to mix. I'm not going to be such a scaredy cat that I won't let them mix. Okay, we've got a decent amount of feathering there. Let me add a little bit more to make it dark. Now you watch. You watch, and this is gonna be like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Why was I so afraid? What'd you find, Popeyes? <gasps> Izzy, what is it? What? Tell me. <laughs> okay, what is it? What is it, Colbert? What's your Bubba's doing? All right, and so I'm gonna go right here with aqua tropics they're touching you guys i did it oh my god i know this sounds so silly i sound so silly i'm aware of how silly i sound right now i've been so afraid to do this though ray 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 you gotta be proud of me girl ray from uh ray's yarn addiction it's my girl it's my home scale at biscuit She is the reason that full spectrum sub boxes even exist. It was not my idea. It's something I, you know, wanted to do. But um she let the fire, so to speak. Okay, and then we're gonna put a little bit more purple. I can't believe I did it. Oh, Ray, you're gonna be so proud of me. I'm gonna text you after this. more of the aqua, aqua tropics I need to order a big thing of this this is all the dye stock solution I have of this and I love this color it is very similar to uh, it's Jacquard by the way um, it is very similar to Dharma's teal green which is what we are also going to use but um, different enough <laughs> they're playing such little cuties. Okay, and then we're going to take what I know to be navy, and we are going to, that was bigger than what I meant. The navy swatches were only supposed to be little, but my hand was further out than I thought it was. Okay, I'm being very careful not to let this go crazy. I want to isolate each color. I want each color to stand on its own and have its have its day in the pan. But I also want to allow for mixing this area right here. Can you guys let's see on the camera? Okay, right here is so pretty. I love that so much. And all it is is where um the, where the where there's not very much color mixing so it's really light color 
but I really like it. It's very pretty. Ooh, I love right here where it's overly mixed. That's pretty too. Um, I was going to add more Aquatropics. I'm leaving it alone. That's a pretty color. So there will be areas where it's dark, where it's mixed, overly mixed, and then there's areas where it's light. All right, I'm gonna say it. Why didn't I mix teal and green sooner? I mean, teal and purple sooner. Um, okay, I had said I was gonna do teal, then purple, then navy, then purple, then teal. Or do I want to go purple, teal, navy, purple, teal, navy? We'll do purple, teal, navy, purple, teal, navy. Okay. We've even got some aquatropics that poked through on the other side of that navy that we just put purple over look at me go because normally I'd be like oh well teal absolutely has to go there then nope I put purple there living wild okay I'm being very dramatic um I'm really proud of myself though because this this has been a really hard thing for me to do I've been so scared of touching them so Sure this purple stays over here I should actually be carrying it this way and not going over this one at all to ensure we don't have any dots because that purple likes to likes to be naughty all right we've got a lot of uh, color traveling here on the edge so I'm gonna kind of build that bridge up a little bit all right and now we're gonna go in with now we're going to go in with dark teal, or not dark teal, teal green from Dharma. We were using Aquatropics. Um, if I can find it, where did I set it? Where did I set it? There you are. Pretty, pretty, pretty color. Love this color so much. See, it's much darker. Aquatropics is like the pastelized version of Dharma's Teal Green, um, which you'll see here in a second. And uh, Dharma's Teal Green is, um, it's definitely more saturated and I think it le it leans a little more blue. On the paper towel it leans more green because heat and acid hadn't been, um, hadn't been put on it. I'm really trying to make sure these colors get have you know I can isolate them and they can have their time um, because the last thing I want when this is dried is to just look like a mess like I want it to clearly look like what it's supposed to look like okay and then you know what then we're gonna go with the other one that I'm still not certain is navy or not this is either navy or this is royal purple. Either way, I think it belongs in here. So that's what we're going to do. Well, that was a much bigger swatch than I wanted. That's okay, though. But we're not going to do much with it because the last bit of this has to be purple and teal. So I'm literally not even going to touch it anymore. And we're going to go in with purple oh yeah it's dripping bad okay come out and around I'm being so careful we're gonna finish it off with aquatropics there we go. okay I'm so proud of my cycle I am very afraid though that this looks like, this doesn't look like another Hank we did already, does it? 
No, it doesn't. It kind of looked like the one that we over dyed navy before we over dyed it though. So even if it looked similar, we over dyed that one and changed it up. So we're going to lean this forward, put some in for the corners. And then that is overlapping that purple, but that's okay. We're letting it be. We're not freaking out. Oh, this is so pretty. I am really loving this. A for face and fears. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And then the last colorway is one that was requested quite a few times over several different videos of crystals and mine. Um... I wouldn't have done this one, actually, except for that it was requested several times. Um, so, and it's a good one. It's, a, it's you know, perfectly fine colorway. Um, so, yeah. I may show you guys this one flipped, too. Let's check on our black. <sighs> okay, our black looks good. So that's not struck yet. That, yeah, we, I put a lot of color in here. So I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar. Vinegar will help that color strike. Guys, please pray, manifest, wish, send vibes that I don't screw this one up on the other side because knock on wood, this came out really, really well. And I really don't want to mess it up. Um, and it's going to be hard. This one's going to be hard because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stripes of color in that one. So we're probably going to have a lot of mixing, but that's okay. They look really pretty mixed. I don't know if you guys can see over here where I did the Aquatropics. There's even some greens poking through. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. We'll be back. Okay. So... I was going to do this off camera, but I thought this was an important thing to show you guys for any of you who are dyeing yarn or want to dye yarn. Um, not saying this is the profesh way to do it, but this is the way I do it. So we still have dye in the pot. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's enough that if it travels, it'll mess stuff up. Usually when I flip yarn, I pick it up by the zip ties turn it, lay it back down. I did this in another video, two videos ago, one or two videos ago, and I didn't point out what I was doing, but this time I'm going to. So when there's dye in the water that I don't want to travel to the other side, I pick up my yarn and I turn it over in the pan. It's, a, there we go. It can become tricky. I will oftentimes have to use two things. So I gotta separate this. Um, just remember which direction you were flipping it. And I will literally flip it over in the pan. Um, it can become messy, so take your time don't rush it. Put that back over there. Um, because you don't want things tangled. So I'm going to flip this one over. And I'm taking the inside to the outside. That way it separates the two hanks from one another. And then it's a whole lot of just repositioning. Guess. Guess, guess. Hi, bye-bye. Come in here with Mama. Okay. Now this one, 
just verifying okay this one oh, that black really penetrated through that's awesome okay and then just because there was so many colors I am just taking my time to really make sure that I am lined up here there's the navy black is right there because I really don't want to over dye any sections that aren't supposed to be these ends, of course, with these big hanks are the trickiest part of it all. Okay. I see potent red here, potent red here, which means those are the undersides. So I am lined up. And then there's a red line in between. Okay. There you go. So it's just about taking your time. So if you see... Like right here is the really saturated red, and then right here is the really saturated red. Then I just line up all the rest of the red in between those two points as best I can. You're probably never going to perfectly line it up. Just do the best that you can. Um, okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Let's see. It's a little bit of blue. This side's are, this is probably actually okay because they're all within the same color family except for the purple. But it's not a big deal if we get it on the purple. We were mixing it anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and lift and flip. Oh, I always love to see the other side. It's always so pretty. Oh my gosh. See, I am going to move you guys. This. I love this. It makes me inclined to want to just leave it alone if it was one of mine. Um, I really need, I, I keep saying it. I really, really need to take the time and dye a hank like this and then just work it up, even if it's just working it up on the Addy so that I can work it up real fast to see what it looks like. I am so curious what it would look like if I just left this side alone. I got to do that. I really got to do that. Okay, so let's try our best. I just don't know that this one I'm going to be able to perfectly align. And I think I did a pretty good job. Part of the issue is, so when the hanks get laid down, they're longer than what the pan is. So they get scrunched together. All those fibers get scrunched. Then when I go to flip it over, they get elongated, flipped, and then scrunched back in. And it never will scrunch the way that it did on the other side. So... And now the what was on the inside is now the outsides. And what was the outsides is now the inside. If that makes sense. I could put this hank over here and this hank over here and then they line back up exactly how they were on the other side. But I think it will actually add to the beauty of this colorway. It'll just be really marled and pretty. I think it's going to be beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Hopefully, we do this well. We're going to, I think this is where our black was. We're going to go in with that black. Really make sure we get that black nice and dark. Spreading it too much. 
I know on my Hank we got really good penetration with that black. I'm not sure about um, crystals, but I think we did there too. Okay, so now we're going to do maybe... for a little bit more Caribbean on this side. I'm actually going to wait a second on... Where did my Caribbean go? Oh, here it is. On um, mixing that extreme blue and put the Caribbean in. We don't need that much because honestly this side is really dyed. I mean, we're going to have dye left in the water for sure. And then I'm gonna mix that extreme blue down, or tap that, feather it. There we go, there's the words. Okay, so there's that side. I'm gonna rinse off my skin. Okay, and then, Basically, gonna finish this red bottle off. We're gonna really saturate it. The fluorescent lemon. We're just gonna go in with the fluorescent lemon only on this side. Move this. Oh, that's why the yellow wasn't clearing. Oh, that's right. And I'm I'm just using the whole yellow. Um, and then kind of blending that red and yellow together to make that orange. I'm not even gonna add any orange. I don't think. That way, whatever yellow we do get will be pretty bright, but we got a decent amount of orange. We've got the red. I think we're good. Boy, this red bottle just... One way of doing it. Never really done it that way before, but why not? Get all the purples down. I 
there's definitely stuff not in the places it's supposed to be because it just it's not possible aquatropics where are you into the lower layers. Okay, and then this side was Aquatropics. Okay. Hope that purple and Aquatropics to meet. And we're gonna add Navy right here, and I'm going to do one little line of it right there. We're kind of having to do this side different because things just didn't quite line up, but that's okay because the other side did, and this side will, this is just going to be a bunch of different um, tones of all the colors which I'm excited about. I think this is going to, I think this is, these two are the ones I'm most excited about. It's just a spoon gizzy. And that's the teal green. And then it is what it is. I'm leaving it alone. I'm not really going to mix a whole lot. Um, let each color kind of stand out and let it be what it is. And we're going to have all different tones of all these colors all throughout. The front side is going to look different from the back side, which is going to look different from the middle. So, I'm excited about it. I think these are super cool. And we did great. We did good, y'all. We make a good team. So, I will be back with the next one. Okay, so we're at the very last hang. Um, so there was a lot of demand for black electric violet fluorescent fuchsia. Yeah. Okay. So this is black. We'll do a decent size black. And then I'm going to kind of put black right there because I'm going to put, well, let me do this first. Let me remember where I put that extra line of black. We're going to mix the electric purple into that spot of black. I mean, we are going to get a dark. There, this is black again. Put more black right there in the center. I mean, we're going to get a dark, dark purple. I'm determined. I'm not going to touch it for a second because I really, okay, I am going to touch it for a second. I really want to make sure that center black is black. I don't want that to be confused as purple at all. We're going to blend out and not touch that center black at all right now. And we'll go back in and we'll really do it up again. We're actually gonna leave it completely alone. I'm not even gonna touch right there to really ensure that that is black. And then, oh my gosh, bottle leaks so bad. Yes, I'm gonna complain about it every time. I already said in another video I'm gonna complain about it every time. I'm a woman of my word. I just want to make sure that there's room for the... You know what? I'll dry dye powder some fluorescent fuchsia. You guys ask for fluorescent fuchsia, I'm going to give you fluorescent fuchsia. Now we're going to kind of mess with the center area just a little bit. 
help this blend out, but we will go back in with that black again and redo it. Okay, took me a second to find it. Um, again, with dry dye powders, you need to be wearing at least a half rubber mask in 95 or greater. So this is fluorescent fuchsia. Oh, it is such a pretty color. Boy, I haven't worked with it in a while. It really is very different from uh, deep magenta even if it's pastelized yeah I gotta stop thinking I can interchange them I can't this is very very different beautiful beautiful color takes a thousand years to strike okay Especially using dry dye powder, there's no measuring this. I'm just dumping <sighs> who knows how much on here. Uh, so we are getting some bleeding up into the purple, which is okay. I will fix the purple later. I would rather make for sure we have a good amount of that fluorescent fuchsia first before we fix it. go back in the black I wasn't kidding when I said we were going to make sure that black was black and the outsides of that we're doing more purple not even touching the black just blending out this purple first and then the black. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and then we'll go back in with the purple. So we get some lighter shades of purple. I'm a little scared to go close to this fuchsia. We'll tiptoe towards it. Now, if you hear a new kind of snoring, that is Trixie, our kitty cat. All of my animals snore like a freight train. Every last one of them. Well, my German Shepherd doesn't that much. Actually. So even if there's not like a ton of this electric bright uh, purple, I'm okay with it. Because the point was to have like black, dark purple, then bam in your face pink so that's all you get to see of it though folks it's all you get to see no more peeky peeky um you will just have to wait for the next video which is the reveal video i really like this this is pretty i'm gonna say something i never say i want to make a colorway out of this for myself if you guys are new here I never say that. I never say that and then promptly don't follow through. Uh, this is on the list for sure. Except I think I would add navy. Because I love navy. I think I would put navy right here between the black and the electric purple. But this is so stinking pretty. And I'm really... Ugh. Guys, tell me not to touch it. Say fiddler, no fiddling. Um... 
No, she's gonna fiddle. She's gonna fiddle. Just a little, just a little fiddle. Um, I want just a little more of that purple right there, but I'm being very careful with it. We are not getting rid of that pink. There we go. Probably actually didn't do much in the green scheme of things, but I, yeah, I'm not going to touch it anymore because this lighter purple up next to the pink is part of what makes this pop so much. It's very pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Good job, guys. That turned out way better than I thought it was going to. Um, man, that is a really pretty colorway. And if we had more yarn space, letting a little more of the electric violet peek through, gosh. Good job, y'all. Okay. I love you so much. Stay safe. Stay weird. Next video will just be the first of it will be all me dyeing all the colorways sped up. For those of you who like to watch the color bloom. And then we will do the reveal. Toodles.